Hi Ninja Nerds, in this video today we're going to be talking about renal labs. So if you do like this video, make sure you leave a comment down below. I do really like to read them and respond to them as the best I can. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and then check out ninjanerd.org. That's where all of our illustration and our notes for all these lectures are available for you guys to utilize. So if you're cramming for an exam quick and you're like, I need a quick refresher on what the renal labs are, I keep getting them confused, I'm hoping this video helps you out. So. Each video or each uh, lab value here is going to be a video separate, but this is the quick rundown of each one. We're going to talk about first the glomerular filtration rate, also known as GFR. What does that mean? Remember, we have an afferent arterial that goes into this glomerulus, which is a capillary area. There's an exchange, right? And then we have an efferent arterial. So this blood flow that's going through is the amount of blood that the glomeruli can process in about one minute. And what that means is that when we're processing, we're having some type of filtration occurring, right? When that filtration occurs, there's lots of different ways that we start getting these really small things out of our blood and into the filtrate that our body creates. So things that we want to think about are the small items like our electrolytes. We can put that down here. We can think about amino acids. Right? We can think about water, creatinine, and all a bunch of the different types, the small ones that are going to get through. So those things that are filtering through are not the big things, like our white blood cells, our red blood cells, all right, platelets, plasma, all that stuff is staying within the blood. So when these things get filtered out, the process at which that occurs over one minute is roughly around 90 to 120. 120 is like the biggest number, the utilized number, but usually it's 90 to 120. That's considered normal. Okay, so we want to remember that with the GFR filtration rate is where we eventually start our filtrate, which eventually when it comes out of the nephron through the collecting duct is called urine. Okay, really important um, for us to understand what this is, but not a great indicator of what's going on with the kidneys necessarily. So then we move into our BUN. BUN is also known as our blood urea nitrogen. That is the normal waste product for a breakdown of proteins. Okay, so the liver is going to break down these proteins it's going to have blood urea nitrogen, things that are present within our blood normally. Okay? And I want you to keep that in mind is that it's normal to have BUN, or it's normal to have a blood urea nitrogen, right? And because of that, the way I can keep this in my head is that if it's normal to have this, it's, there's a little bit of a bigger range for it. It's seven to 20 milligrams per deciliter, right? So what that means is that when we have things broken down in our body, proteins, we have tons of proteins in our bodies, right? As they get broken down, there's a wide range of the amount that's considered acceptable or normal within a body. So that's how I can keep this in compared to creatinine. Creatinine is going to be your best indicator of kidney function within a patient. And then is a waste product of muscle breakdown. So I always think to myself, creatinine is muscle breakdown. Is it normal or do we really want our muscles breaking down in our body? No. So if we don't want our muscles breaking down in our body, this is going to be the smallest numbers, right? Or the, the things that are really, really minute. So for this one, it's 0 0.6 to 1.2, all right? And what we're looking at here is a very small amount because it's really not, it's not normal or it's something that we don't really want happening in our body. Yes, muscles are going to break down and build up and break down, but we don't want them breaking down all at once. It's going to create a lot of an increased creatinine, right? And then that increased creatinine is going to show us something else is going on. It can also be a lot of other things going on that increase this, which we'll talk about in future videos. But I want you to remember that this is breakdown of muscle. We necessarily don't want muscle breaking down in our body. Proteins are being breaking down so our body can utilize them, metabolize them, use them in the way that they're appropriate. But remember, when we're looking at these three, the best indicator is our creatinine level. There is a BUN to creatinine ratio we will talk about in future videos. And then there's also the GFR, which is the rate at which our blood is processed through our glomerulus, which is 90 to 120. So I hope this made sense. I hope it gave you a quick refresher on the renal labs. And as you're going into that exam or test or maybe even just a lab practical today, that you can remember this and it really helps you out. And as always, until next time.